This is your history midterm. How much time do we have? 15 minutes. Evgeny, this penguin game sucks. Call Barbara, see if we can play some hoops. Okay. Hey Barbara, do you want to play basketball? Sweet, I'll be out. was you going to apply to? Well, I'm looking at Michigan Law School right now. I'll probably apply to a couple more, but Michigan's my top choice. How about you? Um, I'm, I'm going to think of like Harvard, Yale, and like Michigan, maybe my, it's like a dark horse, you know, it could win, it could win. So, let's fill this application out. Alright. Jose Rodriguez, Hispanic, Social Security, 555555555, GPA 3.5, LSAT 159, oh yeah, oh yeah. Barbara Grutter, Ethnicity, Caucasian, Social Security, 12345689, GPA 3.81, no, no, no. Today's the day, man. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see. Oh, so 
Oh, here it is, here it is. Mr. Jose Rodriguez, University of Michigan Office of Admissions. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yes! 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 Come on, baby. Today's the day. Hopefully. Let's see, maybe. Let's see. It's probably for mom. It's a bill. Ooh! Barbara Grutter, University of Michigan Office of Admissions. Here it is. Are you kidding me? How do I not get in? This is, wow. I'm definitely gonna go find someone to talk to about this. I gotta check with Jose and see if you got in. I, I can't. I can't believe this. This is just. Hey, Barbara. What's up? Do you get in? No, I, I. I didn't. How did you? How did you get in? I don't know. I was so excited when I opened up that letter. Though. Dude, let's compare. Let's compare. Okay. Dude, it's 3.81 and I had a better Elsa score. How did I not get in? I don't know. I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna go have to talk to a lawyer about this. I would. But congrats, man, I'm proud of you. All right, thanks. See ya. Nice to meet you. I'm Barbara Gruder. Take a seat. What can I do for you today, Barbara? Well, Mr. Cool, um, I was coming to you because I believe I was wrongly denied admissions to the University of Michigan Law School, and I believe I was denied because of my race rather than my academic performance, and I was wondering if you would be able to help me in suing the school. I could do it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We'll hear arguments now in number 02241, Barbara Grutter versus Lee Bollinger. Mr. Colbo? Mr. Chief Justice, and may it please the court, Barbara Grutter applied for admission to the University of Michigan Law School with a personal right guaranteed by the Constitution that she would ha not have her race counted against her. That race, that the application would be considered for free from the taint of racial discrimination. The law school intentionally disregarded that right by discriminating against her on the basis of race, as it does each year in the case of thousands of individuals who apply for admission. The law school defends its practice of race discrimination as necessary to achieve a diverse student body. With the loss, with the diversity that the law school is committed to ensuring and meaningful numbers or critical mass is of a narrow kind defined exclusively by race and ethnicity. The constitutional promise of equality would not be necessary in a society composed of a single homogeneous mass. It is precisely because we are not a nation teeming with different races and ethnicities, one that is increasingly interracial, multiracial, that is so crucial for our government to honor its solemn obligation to treat all members of our society equal, without, equally without preferring some individuals over others. Thank you. Very well, Mr. Colvo. Ms. Mahoney, we'll hear from you.
Mr. Chief Justice, and may it please the court. The brief says that it's one of the paramount interests of government to the diversity in higher education, and it has certainly been the consistent position of the Department of Education for the past 25 years that BACI is the government governmenting standard that schools are encouraged to use programs to achieve diversity because of the important insights is serves for the students of all color. I think what the court's judgment in Baki said that currently what Justice Powell's opinion said that it is simply not necessary to do away with the race as a factor in admissions since it can be used as an effective means of achieving diversity. Thank you. This case comes to us on a writ of seratoria to the United States Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit. The University of Michigan's law school strives to assemble a highly capable, diverse student body by focusing on academic ability as well as on each applicant's talents, experiences, and potential. The law school's admission policy does not define diversity solely in terms of race, but it does reaffirm the law school's commitment to the inclusion of African Americans, Latinos, and Native American students who might otherwise not be present in meaningful numbers. Petitioner Barbara Gutter is a white Michigan resident who was denied admission to the law school. She filed this suit alleging that respondents unlawfully discriminated against her on the basis of race. The district court agreed with the petitioner, but the Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit reversed. In an opinion filed with the clerk of the court today, we affirm the judgment of the Court of Appeals and hold that the law school's use of race and admissions is narrowly tailored to further a compelling state interest in assembling a diverse student body. The Chief Justice has filed a dissenting, a dissenting opinion in which Justices Scalia, Kennedy, and Thomas join. As Chief Justice, I think that the affirmative action policy is nothing more than an unconstitutional quota system. I, if you look at the number, at the number of ap African American applicants, it eerily closely mirrors the number of Af African Americans accepted as subtle as it may be, I think it's an unconstitutional quota system. 